children and welcome to Stepping Stones. Today I'm here at home. You can see that my cat is joining us. His name is Leonard. We call him Lenny. He's right up there joining us for Stepping Stones today. If you have some friends, some stuffed animal friends, or some pets in your home, or maybe a brother or sister who you would like to come to Stepping Stones with you today, I invite you to bring them over Gather them around at your computer as we begin. Let's sing our welcome song. Do you remember how it goes? It's good to be together, together, together. It's good to be together and give thanks to God. It is good to be together again today. It's been really cold outside, hasn't it? So it's fun to be together cozy inside in our own homes where we are safe and warm. We are in the season of Lent, the season where we are getting ready for Easter. So today on the first season, the first Sunday in Lent, we are getting to hear a story about Jesus's baptism. So let's open up our Bibles and we'll hear the story of how Jesus was baptized. Now you might remember when you were baptized, but maybe you were too little to remember. Jesus was baptized too. Let's hear about how it went. Jesus' baptism. While Jesus was living in Galilee, his cousin, John the Baptist, was preaching out in the country of Judea. The people loved John and came to see and hear him wherever they could. Look at all those people gathered around. I think that might be John the Baptist. Sometimes crowds of people came to see John by the River Jordan. When the crowds came, John would tell them, change what needs changing in your life. God's kingdom is here. The people would promise to change their lives, and then John would baptize them to show them that they were a new person in God's eyes. I baptize you on the outside with plain old water from the Jordan River, but this is nothing compared to what and who is coming, John would exclaim. The one who is coming will baptize you with God's own spirit. With God's own spirit, you will be changed from the inside out. While John was saying this, Jesus appeared. He asked John to baptize him, but John wasn't so sure. What? Me baptize you, Jesus? I think it should be the other way around, John said. But Jesus insisted, do it, John, baptize me. God does amazing things in baptism. So John did what Jesus asked and he baptized Jesus with water in the Jordan River. When he splashed up out of the river, Jesus saw the skies open up and he saw God's spirit. It looked like a dove. It looked like a dove gracefully floating down to land on him. Look, I wonder what you think is happening there. There was a voice too, and the voice said, this is my son. He has been chosen and marked by my love. He is the great joy of my life. Wow, that's the end of today's story. I wonder what your favorite part of this story is. I wonder if you've ever seen anyone be baptized. I wonder what it would have been like to be there to get to see Jesus be baptized. Hmm. Keep wondering on that, okay, children? We are going to sing another song today, so why don't we sing one of our favorites? It's called Jesus Loves Me. This song reminds us of just how much Jesus loves us. In our story today, we were reminded that God loved Jesus 
but God loves all of us. So we're going to remember that and sing our song. If you know the hand motions, you can do them along with me, okay? Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but God is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Thank you so much for singing with me, children. Next, we are going to pray. When we pray, remember that we can tell God anything we want. We can ask for help, or we can say thank you for something, or we can even pray for other people, or for our pets, or for our friends, or for strangers. I want you to think of something that you would like to pray for today. Can you think of something? Maybe you want to pray for someone or something. Think about what you'd like to pray for. And then, when you have it ready, we're going to say our prayers out loud. Are you ready to pray with me? What are you praying for today? Go ahead, say it out loud. I am praying today for my cat Leonard because he brings me so much joy and comfort even when it's really, really cold outside and we can't go outside that much. So I thank God for my cat, Leonard, and I pray for all those people who are very cold right now. God hears all of our prayers, the prayers that you prayed in your house and the prayers that I prayed in my house. And so we lift these prayers up to God. Amen. Can you say that with me? Amen. Children, before you go, I'm going to give you a blessing. Remember, we always bless each other at the end of Stepping Stones to remind us of God's love. So receive this blessing. Remember that you are God's. If you want to give your blessing to someone else, you can. You can put the blessing on your own forehead, marking yourself with the sign of the cross. Or you can mark the cross on one of your pets or on one of your stuffed animals. I'm going to give Lenny a blessing. You could give a blessing to one of your stuffed animals or someone else in your house now, too. Go ahead and do it. Lenny, remember you are God. Thanks so much for joining me today for Stepping Stones. We will see you next time. Bye, children.